This video is going to be about strength and shaping specifically for P-bars. Okay, so we all know P-bars is a men's sport, so this video is ideally going to be for them. But we also know that most of our sports in Rec Alley do use bars. So this is going to be great for anyone to have a go and practice to get up their strength and conditioning for their arms forearms and wrists, which is what we're going to be focusing a lot on for today. Okay, so our warm up and stretching is going to be on the floor. You're not going to need anything for that, but we will need, as we get into it a bit more, two chairs. So it can be two chairs kind of close to each other. It can be two edges of the lounge, whatever you have accessible, two boxes, anything that you'll be able to hold yourself up because we're going to do a, little, a lot of holds, so a lot of front support holds, um, tuck, L, things like that, which is very similar to what we would be doing on the bars. Okay, so again, a lot of shoulders, arms, forearms and wrists, and this video is for everyone, okay? Upping the reps depending on the levels, but also making it a bit easier if you are in kinder gym, but you just want to have a swing on your chairs um, and get nice and strong. All right, let's get started, guys. All right, there's only one more thing we need to do before the class gets started, and it needs to make sure we're safe. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we're sanitized and clean. So making sure we're sanitizing our hands, um, the box or the floor that we're using is also going to be nice and clean as well. The second thing is making sure we have enough space. Making sure you're not going to kick your toe on your mum's coffee table or break any cups would be amazing. Our third thing is safety. So making sure our body is safe. Making sure we've got really strong muscles which will be a part of our warm up and that we're really, really ready to go. The fourth thing is, is being sensible. Again, not trying anything too hard um, and ensuring you are doing what you're capable of doing. Our last thing is ensuring you're on a soft surface. You can be on carpet at home, outside on the grass. If you have got tiles, maybe putting some blankets down or some pillows around you just to be sure you do have that soft surface under you. When your five safety S's are complete, we can start. All right, now that you know what we're doing, we are going to get started in some warm up. So we're going to do straight jump, tuck jumps. So straight away, punching off our, um, and our, off our ankles, not bending our knees. When we're landing a little bend, but trying to push really through our ankles, okay? If we do need to take a break and bend for our knees and then jump and then bend for our knees and jump, that's totally okay. Ideally, we wanna be going straight jump, tuck jump, pushing through our ankles, okay? We're going to do 10. So we're gonna go straight, two, three, All right, you can do more than that or less, totally up to you. Then we're going to do some high knees, okay? So we're just 20 seconds, high knees, chest up, knees as high as you can. So one. Perfect, if you do have room to maybe do some laps if you can, that'd be great. If not, you just do it on the spot. Then we're going to do some shoulder rocks. So in front support, rocking it over and back. Four, eight, ten. Perfect. All right, we're going to do some arm circles to get nice and warm as well. Seven, nine, and forwards. Four, keeping your arm on the same plane. Give your arms a bit of a shake, clasping them behind you, stretching your shoulders over. That's it, awesome, doing some shoulder rolls. Because when you are on the P-bars, it's a lot of shoulder strength and shoulder stability. So we wanna make sure they are really, really warm and stretched as well. All right, we're gonna get started with the rest of our stretching and then we'll get some drills going. All right, we are going to start off with some tuck-ins to get our belly nice and warm before we do start stretching. Okay, this is also a great way to understand your tuck shape and then your L, okay? I do want you to go all the way down to your L shape, all right, so it's not going to be our usual into our dish, okay, or our V. I want you to go straight down so we're having our hands by our side and we're just getting used to going tuck into your L, okay? Ideally, you want your feet to not slide on the floor, but you wanna keep your chest up, okay? So you don't wanna be leaning back and then sitting back up because when you're on the P-bars, you wanna be able to move your knees 
up to your chest and back down to your L. Okay, also sitting up against the wall to help you so you can tuck and back down is great to help keep your posture and your shoulders up and also then you can really focus on lifting your knees off the floor at the same time and then lowering down to back to L. Okay, so we're going to do two more. So we're going to go tuck down to L, also keeping your hands by your side, pushing into the floor the whole time. You don't want to have fluffy arms because that defeats the purpose of practicing holding the P-bars next to you. Okay, one more, tuck, and then L. Very good. All right, now we're going to sit in our butterfly. Leaning forward, really stretching behind our legs. Good, I also want you to lean over one side to get all your side muscles stretched. And over to the other side. Very good, then pushing your knees down, opening everything up. Four, three, two, one. Good, now we're going to sit in our pike. So starting off with some circles with your toes first, getting your ankles nice and moving. Good, pointing and flexing. And then your pike stretch. Good, that's it. Then we're going to flex our feet. We do want to have really stretched and loose muscles, especially in our legs. So then we're, when we are swinging in our P-bars um, and in anything, in any gym sport, any age, you do want to have really loose legs and flexible legs as you're able to straighten your legs and it's much easier to have a really nice line, especially in your swings. Okay, pulling your heels back. If you can't yet touch your toes and pull your heels back, just flexing your feet and leaning as far as you can forward. It's still going to stretch more than if you're pointing your toes wherever your um, stretching ability is at. But just going as far as you can, holding five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Doing some circles. Then we're going to do our straddle, okay? Leaning over to one side. Again, really straightening your legs. You want to have nice, flexible, open hips as well as your legs. Um, and you don't want to be bending to get over as far as you can. Go as far as you can, just making sure your technique is proper. Okay, nice straight legs and tight muscles. And down the middle, keeping your knees turned up. Don't let everything roll in. That's it, then we'll move to our, our wrist, sorry. So starting with them rolling, getting them nice and warm. Shaking them, having your stop sign, hand upside down, pulling back. Your forearms and your wrists also need to be nice and stretched as, as well as your shoulders. That's what's going to be keeping you up and they need to be nice and strong. And I'm also doing upside down as well and turning to the other hand. And the other way. Good. Give them a shake, also doing them on the floor. This is also stretching our forearms as well as our wrists. That's it, and the other way. Making sure your arms are really, really straight. Okay, that's it, give them a shake, very, very good. Then we're going to do some back stretches and we can get ready. We're going to do our angry cat. And our happy cat. I also want you to twist in your happy cat over to one shoulder and twisting in your happy cat over to the other shoulder, then pushing back into your angry cat. Okay, then we're going to stretch our shoulders and our back in our lazy cat. And then our seal. Looking open, opening your shoulders, so not letting your shoulders close. We want to really open and extend elongate our neck and pull back. Very good. And we'll do some rock and rolls. Two. And three. Very, very good. All right, definitely add some stretches if you need to. Lengthen or shorten the stretches depending on your time um, and your ability and what you have at the, um, the space that you have at your house but we can get started onto our strength. So we're going to get 
one chair and we're going to, or a lounge or a box or whatever you have at home, and we're going to start off with some dips, okay? So go get what you need to get and we can start. Now that I've got my chair, we can start. Okay, so we're going to do some dips. So fingers facing um, our bottom, okay? And we really wanna be working on the back of the, of the arms, so our triceps, okay? So when we're in our front support, in our P-bars especially, if we're going to bend and come back up, especially in higher levels, we do need to have our tricep mus muscles to push ourselves back up when we're doing different skills, okay? Even when we're doing swings and we're leaning forward to come push us back into our front swing, again, it all comes from our shoulders and our arms and especially our triceps. All right, so we're going to start, fingers facing our bottom, feet bent at 90 degrees, looking in front, head neutral, not bending so our elbows are coming in, okay? Bending so our elbows bend behind. We're going to do 10, that was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I want you to hold. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, so holding as far down in your dip as you can, okay? Trying not to move and as well keeping your elbows in. The harder it becomes, the more likely you are to open up your elbows to make it easier. We don't want that to happen. We wanna keep your elbows tight in, okay? We are going to do the same thing. Now feet on the chair, okay? So using your chair or your lounge or your box, all right, lifting your bottom up and dipping down. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to hold it as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, so our backs of your arms should be nice and warm and a bit stronger now, I guess. All right, if you're wanting to do more, so if you're in my boys' squad, definitely try and do more, especially parkour and higher levels. If you're just in rec or just having a go, stick to 10 is probably the best bet. Okay, we're going to keep our chair. We're going to do some front support. So feet on the chair. We're going to put our hands on the floor. We're going to hold front support for 10 seconds. Okay, then we're going to do some front support rocks. Okay, so like we did in our warm-up at the start, trying to rock over your wrists, all right? Keeping your bottom down and making sure your technique and your front support is correct. So squeeze your belly up to your spine, bottom down, all right? You don't wanna lose your form. If you start to feel yourself wobbling or you start to feel your bottom sticking up in the air, just come down and stick with five or however many you did, okay? This is gonna be great for our swings as well because ideally you wanna be parallel to the P bars or even higher in a handstand, okay? But your swings, you want to be a straight line in your front support in your swings. We're going to be in our front foot. You can put your feet or your knees. Okay. So one, two, three, four, nine, ten, and rock one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, if you need to bend your knees to push and rock yourself over, you definitely can, okay? Or flexing your toes under to give that bit of a bounce, okay? We're now gonna put our chair away and start to do some things on the floor. All right, I've put my chair away. We're going to start doing some things on the floor and then I will need you to get those two chairs or go to the edges of the lounges or whatever you have at home like I spoke about before, okay? So we're going to start off with some Push-ups, push but tricep push-ups, okay? So with the tricep push-ups, your hands are wide. They are shoulder width apart. When you're bending, similar with your tri uh, sorry, with your dips, you're not bending out. You're allowing your elbows to come next to you, okay? So we're going to do them. We're going to do 10, sorry. You can do them on your knees or you can do them on your toes. Completely up to you, okay? So head neutral, squeezing your bottom. It is your front support shape, so no bottom in the air. Don't let your tummy... Um, arch, if you are realizing and noticing that you're losing your technique, 
go onto your knees or just do less repetitions, okay, until you are stronger. Look in the mirror to make sure you've got technique or get mum or dad to film you um, to see if you are doing the correct form, okay? So we're going to do triceps, so one, two, three, four, When you do your hold, you obviously don't want to relax and let your body touch the floor. It just needs to be hovering off the floor. If you want to come up out of your tent, give your arms a shake, then go into your hold, definitely do so. Of course, do 15 to 20 push-ups in a different um, 20 seconds hold if you can. Okay? We're now going to do a different type of tricep push-up, okay? So we're going to be in our downward dog, kind of like a bear walk. Okay, and I want you to bend down onto your elbows and then push back up. Alright, so I want you to do that 10 times. If you need to push your arms at different times, so doing one and then the other, just make sure you alternate. So if you are going down at the same time and then pushing up right left, make sure next time you go left right. So you end up doing five on either side. Okay, if you can push up with both hands at the same time, definitely do so. Alright, but we're going to do 10. So in our bare walking position, open shoulders, bending down and pushing up and bending down and pushing up, 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 that's five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine and ten. Perfect. It's a different way to get your triceps rather than your push-ups and your dish. Um, sorry, your push-ups and your tricep dips. Um, a little bit different. All right. Now I do want you to go get your two chairs or move the camera so you can see in between your two lounges. And we're going to start doing some holds. So we have focused on our arms now, making sure they're nice and strong on the floor. But we also need to hold ourselves up in our front support or different shapes like we do on the P-bars. All right, I've got my two chairs set up here, okay? Not too close, not too far apart, just enough for myself to fit, okay? So you just need to make sure, even if you're close to the floor, you can definitely bend your knees. If you've got something at home that's a bit taller, you can, of course, straighten your legs. All right, we're going to hold front support first, okay? Making sure you're pushing up through your shoulders, not arching your back as well. You don't want to be opening, okay? You want to have a nice round back and you want to be pushing so like in WAG, um, we do this too. You want to have the bar as high um, on your legs as you can. Okay, you don't want them on the hips. You want to be pushing up through. It's the exact same for P-bars. Okay, so we're going to hold front support for 10 seconds. So, I need to bend my knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now we're going to do a tuck hold. So, similar things. Just your knees are at your chest, okay? Even in 90 degrees, as long as they're up there, okay? Same thing, hands nice and flat, chest up, but also round, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, perfect. All right, now you're going to do an L sit, okay? So your legs both in front and hold, okay? You're going to do that one by yourself and I'm going to count it. Legs up as high as you can, nice and straight. Toes pointed, legs straight as well, okay? Same thing, pushing up through your shoulders. Nice round but tall chest and back, okay? Go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Now, depending on how tall your chairs or your box or your lounge is, okay, we're also able to do some swings. So bent legs, okay, and I just want you doing little rocks, forwards and backwards. 
You also need to make sure your chairs or whatever you have are stable and they're not going to move. We're not doing big swings, just little rocks to understand the movement pushing forwards and backwards through your arms, shoulders, but also mentally getting through the fear of going forwards and backwards and understanding that it's all through your strength and you'll be fine, okay? Just little ones, not too big, just rocking. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay? Also always dismounting or um, coming down off the bars behind you. All right, I'm never gonna swing forward, okay? As a dismount, maybe to move into another skill, but as I land, I always want to be swinging back and landing behind myself. Okay, give your wrist a bit of a roll. Good. The next thing we're going to do, we are going to use the other chair. Okay, we're going to move one of the chairs back a little bit. And you're going to put your feet on top. Okay, and you're going to do some taps with your legs. Okay, to kind of get your um, hip flexors and your thighs nice and warm and strong. Okay, and this is going to help you be able to hold your L sit and also your straddle when we get to it and different movements and variations of holds as well. Okay, so we're going to start with um, our right leg doing 10 little taps. Okay, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and the other leg 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 10. Okay, then you can also do the um, both legs at the same time. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. If you're able to do a few more, definitely do so. If you want to just stick with ten or also go down a few sets, you definitely can do that as well. Okay. So just shake your legs out. All right. There are a few different holds that we would do um, in level one to three mag key bars routine. You're also able to do some moving. So now that we've actually held front support, tuck, L, as well as some leg lifts, I want you to go from front support to tuck and back down. Okay, so we're gonna do some tuck lifts, okay? If you're in front support and you do need to bend your knees, pretend you're kneeling on the floor, open hips, just a bent leg, feet behind, that's what I want your front support to be. Okay, so you're still going from an open hip up into your tuck, tuck back down, okay? so your knees aren't here and you're only crunching a little bit. I want the full range of motion with your hips just like your legs would be straight, okay? So we're gonna do five. So from our front support, tuck, down, two, three, four, five. That's it, okay? We wanna avoid um, or do minimal swinging as possible, but you might get a little, bit, a little bit of momentum as you do it, but you try and you do want to not swing, okay? This one's for you guys to do. All right, same thing from your front support, trying to lift into an L. If you are very down on the ground like I am, in your front support, you're going to have to go through tuck into an L and back down, okay? So you're gonna do this one. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so you're gonna go. So tuck, go L, back down to front support. Two, three, four, and five. Very good. Again, if you're wanting to do more reps of anything that we've done today, definitely do so. If you're needing to do a few less, of course, do the same. All right, give your arms a bit of a shake. Give your wrists a bit of a roll as well. Good. Give your hand, um, forearms a bit of a massage so you can put them on your chair or flat on the floor, okay? Using your fingers to give yourself a bit of a massage, also using your elbows as well. So your cool down and your rest period is definitely as important um, as your warm up because you want to avoid injury and make your body know that now you're slowing down and you want your muscles to be ready for next time you do some strength for P-bars. Good, there we go, do some more rolling. We're also going to stretch our forearms and our wrists. Again, you can do this on the floor or on the chair that you're on and the other way too. If you are wanting to do more reps, definitely do the 10 that I did and then rewind and do the 10 again, um, just so you've got someone counting to keep you accountable of doing it as well. Okay, very good. Then we're gonna sit on the floor or the chair, doing some ankle circles. That's it, and then the other way. 
Make sure you do both. Good. Then we're also going to do some arm circles for our shoulders. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Giving your shoulders a bit of a roll. Definitely take photos, ask questions, take videos, put it in the Facebook group if you do want something a bit easier or, hot, um, or harder as well. Definitely love to give it to you um, because p bars is definitely a lot of fun, does require a lot of strength, okay? Even if you do do things on the bars, um, if you've got a single rail, you can definitely do most of these things. You, of course, can hang from a single rail doing your tuck, your holds, um, your L, everything like that, as well as your leg lifts, and of course, tricep push-ups aren't gonna hurt anyone. All right, hope you've had a great day today and I'll see you later soon. Bye.